Check out this billboard. It is getting a lot of attention, not for what it's selling, but what it says. There are Nazis in our neighborhood. Steve Kiggin spoke with the advertiser and law enforcement to see if hate crimes are up in the area. The organization called Tacoma Against Nazis tell me they've got about 100 members in their group and they've been fighting against a local business they're convinced has ties to white supremacy. And while for now their fight is so far just using this billboard, this group tells me they're promising to do even more activism. If you're not looking for it, you just might miss it. But once you see it, it's hard to ignore. It's meant to be pretty shocking. Hallie Kanigi of Tacoma says she co-founded the group Tacoma Against Nazis, which paid for this billboard. The fact that there are groups coming to town who are making it impossible for diverse populations to live in safety and comfort in their own city is horrifying. The billboard went up yesterday, and Kanigi says her group recently tore down what she says were more messages sharing white supremacist ideals found on Tacoma telephone poles. Put up flyers all around town encouraging people to report immigrants to ICE uh, with links to their website, which advocates for a white nation. I never really looked up and read it yeah. when I walked by here every day. Ian says he only just now spotted this new billboard and despite its message, he thinks it's an eyesore. It's saying, you know, there's Nazis living in your neighborhood, which, you know, it's none of their business. Who cares? Just being a Nazi is not illegal. And Tacoma police say hate crimes have not been on the rise. We've not seen any increase in reports of hate crimes, you know, throughout the city. Still, until all feel welcome in Tacoma, Kanigi says her group will continue their fight against prejudice. I think for a long time, people of color have been at the front lines of standing up against hate groups like this. And white people like myself have maybe been comfortable to say that's terrible and post it on Facebook and leave it at that. And it's a really time that we as white people stand up and show our faces as being against white supremacy. In Pierce County, Steve Kickens, Q13 News. And we are not disclosing the name or location of the business targeted by the billboard because its owners have not been charged with a crime. And while the city of Tacoma does regulate the permitting, construction, and location of billboards, the city has no say over the content on the billboards or the companies who own and operate them.